Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I hope you guys are having an amazing Thursday. For today, we are representing Vancouver, even though I've actually never been. I would love to know if you guys are from are from there, you know? I uh, so far have New Hampshire, Vancouver, even though it's not part of the States, and then I recently picked up Nebraska. So we're getting summer with life, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I also, also, by the way, I picked up some Starbucks recently. I love their tumblers, and this is one of like their newer ones. I feel like I'm drinking more water. It's always the new tumblers with me, you know what I'm saying? For today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys an Ulta haul. Really excited about this one. I recently did a walkthrough Ulta style video. So if you guys wanna see more of what they have to offer, I'll have that video linked below. They have so many new displays out now. And, and the video I uploaded like two weeks ago maybe, so they probably have even more like out now. <laughs> and so I wanted to share with you guys all of the goods that I picked up, lots of palettes and just makeup in general and a few body care goods too. I will have all of the items I'm speaking about linked down below. And I also picked up most of these items in store, but some of the items I picked up online. So here's the bag we're working with and let's get started. First up I have these right here from the Ulta Beauty brand. This is their version of cotton pads. There are 50 that are included in here and it's more of like an oval type of shape. I typically just buy the regular traditional ones that are either like round or the small square ones from Shiseido, but I wanted to give these a go and I have to say I love these more mainly because of the size. It also feels really, really good. It feels, I wouldn't say like silk. The Shiseido ones definitely feel a bit better, but this still, still feels like really, really nice. Um, I love to use this for like my toners, my essence essences to take off like the residual makeup that I might have and the best part is is that it has a good grip on the hand and I find that I use less of these like I'll use one and I'm good to go with like the smaller sized ones I definitely always need two and sometimes even three and sometimes even four so I feel like I am being less wasteful when it comes to these cotton pads when I have this specific size so so far I've been really enjoying these Great find. Next, I picked up these two goodies from the brand new Too Feast collection. This is the Too Femme collection. So I have the palette here, and then I picked up the blush as well. I know that they have lip products and mascaras that are part of the line, but I just picked up these two for now. Definitely one of their cutest collections ever. I love the butterflies. I love like the whole springy feel I get with this. So here's what the blush looks like really pretty it does come with a mirror and then here is what we're working with on the inside so it's more of like your luminous peachy tone pinky blush for some reason it's kind of reminding me of like the nars orgasm blushes so if you're familiar with that i feel like this kind of has a similar vibe from the finish to the color like i feel like it's almost identical and i'm i mentioned that last time and a few of you guys were like yeah i feel the same way so I feel like you're kind of getting the same thing with this. Really pretty though, and it has like a nice soft feel. It's also pretty pigmented, so I feel like a little bit will go like a very, very long way. I also love how we have butterflies in the blush. They're gold, they're kind of like oversprayed, so like once you kind of like swatch, it doesn't necessarily like translate much on the hand, but very happy about this one. I cannot wait to see how it's gonna look on the skin. Oh, and it has just strong magnet to it too. Whoa. Then we have the Too Femme eyeshadow palette. So I was quite surprised to see that this is in a cardboard package. For some reason, I thought it had the same packaging as the Teddy Bear palette. I don't know. Kind of confused now. Okay, whatever. Strong magnet with this one as well. But I think that the color story of this one is gorgeous, mainly because we get a decent amount of neutrals, but then you get the pops of like the greens here, like the mint colors and some pinks as well. And I feel like those shades would really just complement each other. So you really get the best of both worlds with this one. You do get 14 shades in total. Some of this is so pretty. Whoa, I don't know if you could see that, but 14 shades in total. You get a selection of, I want to say satins, some metallics and mattes as well. Yeah, so these are really, really nice and very, very soft. I could tell that this is gonna look stunning on the eyes. I don't know if I've ever come up. I don't know if I ever did a look with these color combinations. So I feel like it would just really look amazing on. Yay for that. And I'll keep you guys posted in regards to if it perform as well, if I had an easy time like working with it, all of that. Next, I picked up the Dolce & Gabbana perfume. And this right here is their brand new scent that they just released. It is called Lily. So I picked up just a travel size. Lately, I've been doing that just to kind of feel out the perfume, see how it sits on my skin, if I enjoy it, if I don't. And then from there, I'll decide, hey, I want to purchase the full size or like, you know what, I'm good. I like that this one is in a spray form. A lot of times, like lately, I feel like they're starting to do that. Like they don't make roller, bowl, roller bowls as as much which is awesome because i hate rollerball perfumes i don't like to like put that on my skin i'll always spray perfume on clothes like never on my actual skin because the concentrate level of alcohol in here is very very high and you don't want that on your body 
So this right here is in the fruity floral family. Uh, some of the notes are passion fruit, bergamot, lemon, pink lily, musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. It is different compared to everything else that I have, I want to say. And I feel like with this one, a little bit does go a very long way. Even though it is a toilet, I feel like it still lasts a pretty long time on. I find that with this, when I go overboard with the sprays that I put, I start to get a headache. So if I put like one to two sprays, I love it. It's great. It's it's like a smooth type of scent. Like it's great for every day, a little bit more on the playful side. But when I overdo it, it's a bit much for me. You know what I mean? I don't have that with all perfumes. With this one, it is like that. So, But it's still a great scent and I do like it. I'll have to finish up a bit more to see if um, I want to purchase the full size. But so far, I've been really enjoying that one. And I think the scent is pretty, pretty good. Then I picked up two ColourPop palettes. So I think that one of them was on sale at the time that I purchased these. And the other one was just way too gorgeous not to pick up. So... The All Amethyst palette was a palette that when I saw it on Ulta site, it was a type where I like stopped everything and I purchased it. And I do not have that with a lot of stuff. Like sometimes I'll just put stuff in the cart and I'll be like, okay, fine, I'll come back later, whatever, you know. With this one, it's like, I need you in my life ASAP. So I don't know what it was about this one, but like when I saw pictures of this, I was like, yes, this is so gorgeous. I'm not so into purples, so it's such an extreme, but when a purple is done well, I am on that. So with this one, I felt like it was very unique and it had a lot to offer because you get mattes, you get really gorgeous like metallics, just like stunning type of shades. Like these two colors are everything to me. I love those type of tones. And then you get this like cool tone brown, but it really, really ties in beautifully with the palette in general. This gorgeous pinky tone blush color is amazing. So I just felt like everything about this one really, really hit home for me. And I mean, I did use it like, I want to say twice already. I love the looks that I created with this. I'll just, I will just say that the quality is not the bestest thing ever. I would love Natasha Denona to come in with a color story like this, if you know what I'm saying. But like the match of the type where you really have to build up if you want to see depth. You know, it's not the kind where you put on and like boom, bam, baby. It's like you really have to build. That's how I personally felt. Um, but I mean, it's not the biggest deal. I guess if you're new to makeup or if you like to build in general, this might be nice. But I found that the mattes were very, very thin in consistency. And when that is a thing, you have to like build but otherwise other than that i love this i think it's very very cute and i really enjoy having it in my collection i cannot wait to see what other looks i can come up with then i picked up the star wars mandalorian palette so i think this is the second one to the mandalorian line picked up the first one when it was on sale and then this one i think happened to go on sale as well it does have a mirror which is great you get nine sheets in here uh five mattes i want to say and four metallics and metallics are so nice like they're buttery they're very creamy they latch onto the eyes well they last pretty much the whole day the metallics are good i felt like with those as well like just like with the amethyst palette so far you just kind of have to build it up to get the depth you know uh, but if you want to just like just throw on a light wash of like color like with the mattes like you could do that with this every time i use this or every time i've used this so far it definitely like knocked my socks off my feet i feel like with the color combinations that are included in here it's like a pretty cool color story and then the middle shade is like this green brown type of color it just looks really really cool i love this i think it's fantastic and i'm so happy to have it in my collection a lot of fun to use and i picked up these two from the l'occitane brand I think that's how you pronounce it. So I love this for shaving. It's really, really good. It's their shower oil. I've gone through, I want to say two or three of these in the past. But I picked up two this time around because a little bit ago, Ulta had these on sale for half off. So I picked up two. So I think typically these are, these are 25. It was on sale for $12.50 each. So basically it's an oil that kind of has like, um, that kind of foams up. So you could shave with it. It's great for that. It's very nourishing on the skin, but you can also use it as like a body oil, like a nourishing body oil if you want more hydration in your skin, like on your skin. A few people actually commented like, oh, I would not want to use that because like I feel like it would leave my skin oily. But this is the kind of product that like when you wash it off you will not feel any like residual oily feel at all you know so i think that's just it's like really cool because it's an oil but it's like it doesn't feel oily on the skin but it does everything you want an oil to do you know so very yummy if you guys have the opportunity to pick this up i think it's great um but especially for shaving that's what i use it for because they're so pricey so i want to do something more with it than just wash my body if you know what i mean so yeah i definitely think that these are winning products and they smell really really good too so i'm happy to have a full stock of that in my life <laughs> as if i needed more stuff you know what i'm saying uh, the next thing i picked up was from nars this is their brand new light reflecting foundation it's actually the foundation i have on my skin today it's my second time using it or third time possibly i picked mine up in the shade light 3 Gobi. 
The color match is pretty good. I just don't know what I think about this. I feel like everyone has been raving about this and the new Charlotte Tilbury foundation, which I did want to pick up from Sephora, but they're always out of my specific shades. So when I was at Ulta, I found this one. They don't carry Charlotte Tilbury yet, I don't think. I think hopefully they should be, like Charlotte should be um, sold there soon. So I picked this one up. Again, everyone was raving about it. Even the people like at the store were like, yes, it's like the best thing ever. And I'm like, you know what? Let me give this a go. <laughs> wow, I spoke really fast there. I need a drink right, like, right now. <gasps> So I'll tell you what the story with this one is. I just feel like it's not as hydrating as I would like. I don't think the claims are necessarily like, oh, this is supposed to be the most hydrating foundation ever. So, you know, but it just doesn't feel like my, it's, it doesn't feel as comfortable as other foundations. Like it doesn't feel like a drink of water in a foundation. Really, yeah. It says it's powered by 70% skincare ingredients to visibly improve, improve clarity and light reflecting complex enhanced luminosity, but it doesn't necessarily say if it's for a dry skin or oily skin. For now, I'm very much so in the middle with this. I've used this with a hydrating primer, a pore filling primer, but I didn't actually use it with oil, which I typically do with foundation. So I'm gonna do that with this, see what's up, and then keep you guys posted. It does give you, I wanna say, medium to almost full coverage, which is great, but it, when I put it on, it's not like the best looking foundation that I've ever tried in my life, really. So in the middle with that, I'll keep you posted as time goes. Then I picked up these from Glamnetic. So this is their nail kit. Um, so I did actually show this in my walkthrough video with Ulta. Like when I went there, I showed you guys this. I think it's a pretty cool concept. My nails have been like really short lately. Oh, they look terrible. Because I've been biting them, okay? And then I had like the acrylic nails, but then they were so long and I had on for so many weeks and I'm like, I just want my, my own nails back, you know? Uh, but I did purchase this for those times that you can need something ASAP, you know what I'm saying? You don't have time to go and whatever, you know? I like that they had this as an option. They have so many different like styles to choose from and basically you'll just... Like it comes with a glue, but I did purchase the glue separately. It's the brush on and nail glue. Um, you just take the nail brush on a little bit of the glue and then push it on your finger and you should be good to go pretty much. So we'll see how this performs when I'm ready to use it. It's nice to know that I have it as an option. I also picked up this right here from e.l.f. This is the Camo Powder Foundation. This just released. So excited about this. And I actually saw this at Target stores as well. So I know that Target's carrying this. Ulta has this. And probably a bunch of other retails too. retailers too. I really enjoy their Camo CC Cream is what it's called, I think. It has great coverage. It feels nice on the skin. And for a drugstore product, like I think it's great. Plus, it's pretty affordable. And the packaging is awesome. Uh, so I was really happy to see that they released something like this. I feel like this could go really, really well with the foundation. Or you could use this on its own. I picked mine up in the shade Light 210. Let's see how this feels. It feels really nice. A little bit more on the powdery side, but it has good coverage. Like you probably won't be able to see from here, but like here on my hand, I could see it gave me like lightish coverage. What I'll do from time to time, if it's more of like a natural day for me, I'll just use concealer on some areas and then just apply powder. I've been using the Fenty powder, um, blush, a little bit of bronzer. Basically, I don't use a liquid foundation or a CC cream all the time. I'll just go in with like a powder. And I feel like the look on the skin just looks so natural and effortless and clean and airy and just easy. You know, it's also very, very lightweight on the skin. So I'm gonna do that with this because it's typically what I do on a natural day. Um, and I'll let you guys know how it performs. But based on how it swatches, I'm assuming it's gonna be really nice on the skin. Next thing that I picked up was a concealer by a drugstore brand as well. This is the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Concealer. When I saw the display at this of this at Ulta, I was like, hello, because it's kind of cool, you know, and the packaging is like insanely amazing. So I picked mine up in the shade 15. I want to say this is, I don't want to say it's the lightest shade because it doesn't look too, too light, but it's one of the lightest shades, maybe like the second or third to the lightest shade. I think this might work out well. Interesting smell. Not the best smell, but not the worst smell ever. Um, so we'll see how like, it like feels on the face and like if it smells on the face. I did swatch it here. You probably can't see it, but I think the shade should work out nicely for me. It seems a bit warm, but I think it could work. So we'll see about this one. I haven't purchased a new concealer in a while, especially a drugstore concealer. So I'm eagerly waiting to see if this is going to be my go-to or if it's going to be one that's like an absolute fail. I know that the Superstay foundation was a no-go for me. Like it it just did not look good on my face and it felt terrible and the heaviest thing ever. So 
let's let's see if this is gonna be nice or not next thing that i picked up was the Too faced major love eyeshadow palette so this is just like a cute little one that i felt like i needed to have in my life but i'm very 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 into greens and browns as of lately like that's my my life and i love it i think those tones really complement each other so I have this palette on another palette that has a lot of greens and browns. Uh, this is the newest little one that Too Faced recently released, and it's supposed to smell like fresh green pears. Pears. It smells like something. But not like pears. It smells sweetish. <laughs> sweetish. It smells sweet. <laughs> so here's what the color story looks like. The brown, the beautiful like green tones, and then we get some neutral tones here. Um, I would say there's metallics and mattes like an even amount of both they feel pretty nice and very soft very creamy <laughs> beep, beep. and i want to say i think you'd be able to do a lot with this just because i can use the same shades for the crease like with the mattes and then i could use something else on the lids when it comes to the metallics and the looks could somewhat look pretty different so we'll see i did declutter a lot of the other little ones that i had by them just because i felt like they were releasing so much and the, the, the quality just seemed very mediocre and i'm like okay like what's going on you know like when they released some of these like years ago like let's say the tickled peach palette was the first one they ever released of these little ones that was amazing and then from there like they started releasing more and more and they were great and then this past year they released a few and it was just like what I don't know, I didn't love the quality, so I hope that that one will be nice. Okay, now the two final items that I picked up were from Urban Decay. They had this display in store. When I saw it, I was like shocked because I did not expect it. So they have a brand new palette out now as well as a mascara. I want to say the mascara was like 26 bucks. The last one they released, like, I think it was called Freak Something Mascara. It was not my speed. It was just like not, like it was not for me. So I was kind of hesitating with this one. I was like, should I get it? Should I not? But then... You know, I just got it <laughs> to see what it's about. Ooh, it looks really nice. I do like this style of wand. It has a little bit of like a curve to it. It's also more of like a natural bristled wand. And I just think it's gonna work out great for the lash. It's also more on the fluffier big side. So, which typically works out really nicely for my eyes since I have bigger eyes. I feel like I just need the bigger the better in a way. So we'll see. I also think the packaging is neat on this one. I'm not crazy about it. Like the whole eye situation is not necessarily my speed, but I love the, like, the color. And then we have the final item here, which is the eyeshadow palette, which is called the Wild Greens, which like I mentioned before, like this one has like browns and greens, and then this one also has like browns and greens. And I just feel like it's so fitting for my life at the moment, it's ATM. Uh, now I'll tell you, the packaging of this is not my style at all. I feel like they could have made this so much cuter. You know what I mean? Again, like the color is really, really pretty, but I'm not feeling I feel like there was a lot of like mixed reviews on the the packaging of this. I would love to know if you're like, yes, it's so cool. Like, what are you saying? Or if you're like, Leora, yeah, I'm with you. Like, no. So, but I like, it's okay, full time. It's pretty cool how it opens up. That's pretty genius. I like that it's a bit different. It seems nice, very smooth. And then here are what the shades look like. So, oh my gosh, pretty. I'm obsessed. We get 12 shades in total. I want to say this whole side, yeah, pretty much has like the greens mainly and then one brown. And then on this side, you get like the peachy warmer tones and then a brown as well. You get a selection of matte and metallics. And I think the color story is winner for sure. I love this. Like I really like genuinely feel like this is going to be my new best friend from now on. So pretty and this seems very very nice and very very soft they actually swatch pretty lightly so i'm curious to see if these are going to be buildable if they're not going to be like what's like what's the story you know but i definitely have it down with the, the color story it's like that <laughs> what am i saying even this is just so like heavenly to me all right i want to say that is pretty much it that was pretty much everything that i purchased from ulta recently i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you guys picked up anything from ulta recently yourselves keep me posted in the comments below and i will see you all in my next video bye